My name is James Wilford. I'm responsible for Amatec's Programmable Power Division here in Germany. Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our range of PV simulators called TerraSAS. Amatec has actually been working on solar array simulation now for, for 17 years. We originally developed solar array simulators for ground-based testing of satellites. We've now taken that knowledge that we've gathered over the last 17 years and developed a range of PV simulators for ground-based applications. 80 volt units for the microinverters, 600 volts and 1000 volts for string inverters and central inverters. Um, when people ask me what makes our product different, it's actually something very simple. Our unit actually tracks, our unit actually stays on the curve. That's the benefit of us designing a solar array simulator from the ground up rather than modifying just a, a DC power supply. Um, the other thing is we've also put a lot of energy and effort into understanding how customers want to use our products and what they want to do in terms of software. We put a lot of energy and effort in developing our software. The best way to see this for yourself though is really to get a demonstration. Speak to any of your local sales representatives and they'll be more than keen to set up a demonstration for you today. In the previous video in this series, we made the claim that the Elgar TerraSAS offered performance advantages over our competitors in that our unit can actually track the curve, our unit can actually stay on the curve. In this video, I'm going to take you through one by one the three key performance advantages that we have that give us that ability to stay on the curve. Those are the output current noise, the phase error, and finally the maximum PowerPoint tracking accuracy. So let's talk about output current noise. In order to do this test, we used a Vectrex VCS40 current probe at 500 volts, 10 amps, into a 50 volt resistive load with a 390 microfarad capacitor in parallel, essentially simulating the input impedance of a modern string inverter. The results of this test were quite conclusive. The Elgar TerraSAS had an output current noise of less than 70 milliamps. Our leading competitor here in Europe had an output current noise of over 700 milliamps. Now let's talk about phase error. If you consider a real solar module, a solar panel, it has negligible phase error all the way out to 10 kilohertz and above. Therefore it's important on a simulation for, this to be as, for the phase error to be as close to zero as possible. In order for precision measurements, we consider a phase error of less than 10 degrees to be important. Finally, we should talk about maximum power point dynamic tracking accuracy. In order to do this test, we use the same circuits as we used in the phase error testing. Here we tested at 2 Hz, 16 Hz and at 64 Hz. As you can see from the blended in graphics, at 2 Hz the results were very comparable. However, at 16 and 64 Hz there's quite a difference between the performance of the Elgar TerraSAS and our competitor. <music>